Hey everybody, Harland here. Just before we get started, I want to let you know about some of my stand-up comedy dates coming up where you can see me live being Mr. Funny. Uh, the first one is in St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. I'll be at the Showtime Comedy Club May 26th and 27th. And then I'll be at the Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club in San Antonio, Texas, June 2nd to the 4th. And then finally, I'll be at the St. Croix Casino in Webster, Wisconsin, June 10th, one night only. So uh, go to harlandwilliams.com, and uh, you can buy your tickets right online. And don't miss me showing up live in your town. Now, let's get to the Harland Highway. I, I think women are hilarious, and they're 50% of the population. Yeah. So it's are like, they 50? Whatever it is, dude. Whatever it is. I'm Holy just saying... Shit. I'm just saying, what else are we supposed to talk about? <laughs> you know, like the, the, the interaction between men yeah. and women has been hilarious since the dawn of time, I'm yeah. sure. You know, you can go back to Adam and Eve if you believe in that. And that's a funny interaction. You know what I mean? So it's like. Yeah, but they were limited. All they had to joke about was an <laughs> apple, a tree, and a snake. I mean, that's not and a lot look of what she did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're riding down the Harland Highway. You feel comfortable <laughs> like the cans? Yeah. These are good. Everything's good. Everything's I mean, good. I don't really need them, but, you know, as long they as look, you... They kind of look good on you, though. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. look Especially almost... Especially with this, like, I look like an old radio guy. Hello, everybody. It's 1935. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Or I was going to say a World War One like, bomber, like a fighter <laughs> pilot or something. I'm, I'm trying out hat looks, okay? Yeah. So I like, like it. You know, my wife got me this one, so I'm like, all right, let me see how this goes. Yeah, it's a beaut. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see if this is going to be the new thing. I had this other one that's like more of a, what, I don't even know. I, I don't know hat lingo yet. That one has a bit of, I got to say, because I have a lot of dog lovers who watch the show. <laughs> right. And that one has a little bit of a, after the podcast, I'm going to go steal 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> <laughs> a little. Is this little, a Disney bad guy vibe? It's you're a getting? little bit of that guy yeah. that crept around, chim chimery, chim, you know that yeah. guy. Well, it's good, and I'm also ethnic, so Disney would probably hire me. <laughs> no way, you're ethnic. <laughs> me too. What? No way. Yeah. What's your What's your eth ethnic? Is it? Ah, it doesn't matter. I'm I'm very mixed. You yeah. Know what I mean, I'm very I'm I'm very mixed. So it's just like you know, I always say people want to know what you are so they can know how to hate you. <laughs> I I know what you are, by the way. <laughs> we're going to hit the theme music, and then we're going to get into it. Here we go. Uh, right here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-huh. Well, now, that's right. You're on the Harlan Highway podcast. I love it. And, uh, yeah, what's not to love, right? Yeah, this is great. This is sweet. It's a sweet <laughs> deal. It's like sweet butter. It's the best, man. And, and I can't thank you enough for coming up here. Eric Griffin, everybody. Come on. Give it up, Eric Griffin, podcaster, comedian, actor. You have quite the uh, resume, guy. Yeah. Well, we have to do that now. How, how are we going to survive on one thing? <laughs> yeah, but you did it before we had to do it. You, you, you were doing it. You were in deep like a giant. No, apparently you were doing it before. <laughs> yeah, I was too. You're right. You, you're right. You, you do were doing do it, it. Doing it. You yeah. come from a different, like your era is the era of like, it's like, this is the, it was the dream. You became a comic, and then you acted, and then you yeah. You, you know what I mean? Like it's like there was like that uh, uh, um, a, a format that we all wanted to follow. Yeah, and then it just got all shattered. Yeah, it's just it's just blown up. Yeah, it's, it's, it, there's no there's no rhyme or reason now. It's like scatter shot. It used to be a sniper's bullet. <laughs> yeah. you kind of picked a direction and you went, and now it's just buckshot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you hope things hit. <sighs> <Wow>. <laughs> Mike Tyson said to his wife. Uh, but Griffey. Which you know, one? <laughs> whoa, easy tender tootsies. Come on now. Jim Chimery. Jim Chim Chiru. To you, sir. <laughs> it really is that. Am I, uh, am I uh, a, a chimney sweep? Is that there's what this little, looks there's like? There's like that British, like I said, yeah. like a puppy thief. Yeah. There's... So anyone watching, lock your dogs up tonight. <laughs> Okay. You have a dog? I'm surprised you don't have a dog. I used to have a few. I've had a few over the years. And what happened? You just got sick of taking care of them? Uh, kind of like a podcast. You just get done with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You bury it in the yard. Yeah, yeah. You teach it to play dead, and then you go through with it. Play dead, boy, and then bury them. And they're like, wait, what the hell kind of trick is this? I'm underground. 
But we were talking about who you are, ethnicity, and uh, I'm going to bring something up because your last name. Mm-hmm. Bro. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I love this faux preparation that you have right, right now. <laughs> Right? The griffin right there. Look at this. This is, you're part lion, <laughs> part eagle. Like, like, what the hell are you, guy? Oh, my God. Have you ever done Ancestry.com? No, I, I you know what? I, I have it ready to go. I just haven't done it. I almost don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to find out that I've just been completely wrong my whole life or something. You know, you're going to find out all this stuff. Yeah, but you're part part lion. <laughs> like that's you got to feel good about that. that. That would be terrible to find out. <laughs> Why? They're the king of the beast. That you're some beast. Oh, <laughs> that, but the you, king of the beast. That's what you would want to find out. No, you wouldn't be king of the beast. You'd be like some. Yeah, this is this is weird. Yeah, you'd be like yeah. Uh, that's why I was outcast. You don't want to be. It's like, oh, what are you? Yeah, pick, you're, pick one. You're like inbreed of the beast <laughs> yeah, here. Right. Yeah, yeah. You're like the island of Doctor Moreau's love toy. Yeah, this would be like this person would be doing. Avis commercials right now because they because they'd want to keep it mixed. Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just can't have regular lions anymore. They yeah, gotta have, it's got to have trans trans griffin lions or whatever the hell they're called. But uh, yeah, you've so you've never done it. You've never done that. No, I've never done it. Com. Yeah. yeah, it's because I've always been like you know I've always had like a weird upbringing, weird past with my. My family's such oh. a, estranged from each other. I've never met my father. What? Yeah. So it's just like it's like that whole thing where you just kind of go, you mm. know what? Let me just stick with. Yeah. This is what I know, and I'm just gonna go with this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you don't want to. What do you do if you find out they're not cool or? No, you right, person? right, right. Or you find out. I don't know. You find, but maybe, maybe that. But there are some people that want that information. Yeah. I I just like I've I'm I'm resigned. I'm okay with yeah never knowing anything. <laughs> I wonder if one day though it hits you. Like, do you have kids yet? No. So I wonder if you have a kid one day and and those juices start yeah, flowing. Yeah, I you're know. Like, you know what? Maybe I, know. I do want to know. It's got to be odd. Well, at this point, I feel like oh man, it, it's sad to say, but I can't imagine my father still alive. You know what I mean? Okay. You know, I just, <laughs> just just because of my age and There's, my I mom, sensed a little hope in your and voice my mom's there. age. No, but yeah. I say that just to say, like, it's like I I'm gonna uh, am I gonna regret like oh I should have just done yeah. this yeah twenty years ago I should have been like more into trying to find out if I have brothers and sisters and yeah. what what happened and then there was just a part of me that was just kind of like you know what you you know my mom made a choice she made yeah and I'm not gonna you know, be mad at her about it. Cause that's what happens. Cause to me, what happens is like, you know, people make choices when they're, you know, they're young, they have a kid and then they're, they might be like, well, I don't want you in the, the you know, my kid's life. And yeah. they make their own choices for themselves. And then later the kid comes and is like, where's my father? And you know, yeah. and then you find out that, you know, maybe he would, he, he could have been trying to, but like I say, I don't hold any grudges because I feel like, I know choices I've made, yeah. selfish choices I've made in my life. Okay. And you just kind of go, oh, people have their reasons. Yeah. And you just you just kind of got to be okay with it. And did you did you ever, like, kind of prod your mother for yeah, answers? Yeah, 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 I did. But I was yeah. way younger. When I was uh, way okay. younger. Uh, and uh, she just had a really, like, adverse reaction. Just like, I raised you. You know, oh, that kind of thing. Wow. Like territorial Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. So, but but I was like, and it wasn't until I got older that I was like, but I, I, I got there some information, but I didn't do anything with it. I didn't. <sighs> It didn't, uh, I wasn't pulled to be like, I need to find out my. Uh, yeah. So but her reaction, it almost sounds like you might have been an immaculate child. Like, oh, well, I know I was like some kind of a fair baby. But I, I think you might have been sort of like Jesus where oh there, my was, God. there was no seed going into the egg. I think your mother. I would have ended up like that. <laughs> <laughs> what would if if you, you you know knowing yourself now yeah if you could be three kind of animals you know inhabiting their spirit and their essence what what would oh, the Eric man. Griffith animals be I don't even know I think I'd have a bit of a wolf in me because I, I like so? yeah I, 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 a little I, dog in you you're not no, I don't I don't you know what no because wolves are pack animals and you're not a pack guy. You're not a yeah, but there's there's kind of the lone there's always the lone wolf the lone, too. Okay, gotcha. but there's also the wolf. Like I think, 
and I don't want to say this for all comedians, but 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 you know, wolves are kind of like observers. They're always they got those eyes and they're always looking. And I yeah. feel like we're always yeah yeah yeah. Sometimes you, they're in a pack. Yeah, but, but, but a lot of times they just you know they're they're okay with being like see ya. Yeah yeah. Are you like that? Like you're always we're always watching and looking yeah. at people and looking for. Yeah, I do find that. Yeah. It, not, it's it's not like we're looking for funny things. Like that's what people would think. I think it's just more like you know we just. You know, the the goggles that we look through, there's always an angle. You know, there's always a asking why. Yeah. Okay. That's what I think our thing is. It's like, why is that happening? Yeah. And this is, and then our thing is like, I see something and I'll be like, well, I'm going to explain to this audience why I think the way I think. To me, that's what comedy is anyway. Yeah, yeah. Huh. You know, it's like, you know, so that's what we, I find myself doing that too. I, yeah. For real. I, like something happens and I go, well, that's crazy. Or that's whatever. Or that makes me feel something. And then, and then someone else might not even think of it that way. Yeah. It's hard. To, it's, sometimes it's hard to live like that. Like it's hard to yeah. enjoy things. Yeah. Because then you're constantly you're, overanalyzing. Yeah. 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 But you said goggles, which is a key word. Mm-hmm. And can I tell you, are you are you into self-deprecating humor at all? Sometimes, yeah, yeah, for sure. Because when I first saw you on stage, okay, just the way you look, there was something that happened that made me very happy. But I don't want to be insulting because it might. <laughs> but 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 <laughs> when I saw you on stage, just this setup is already like I'm like, here we go. No, no, <laughs> here comes a Harlan Williams special. <laughs> no, 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 but. You reminded me, because the way you look... Here we go. <laughs> ...of the quintessential kind of face of comedy. Yeah, 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 I understand. Can yeah. I illustrate? Yeah, the comedy's here. Oh, you already have some preparation? Well, is there another I, I, yeah. Is there another terrible picture? <laughs> no, it's no picture, but when I saw you, I've seen this image my whole life. Here we life, go. <laughs> and I close your eyes. Close your eyes. Don't eyes look. Closed. I'm gonna I'm going to set it up for you, and then don't, don't open them until I say, but... Don't open them yet. When I saw you on stage with your features, your face, I went, this is the comedy guy. Take a look. I'm going to, can I gasp before I open my eyes? Yeah. This is a Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, oh, that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I get that all the time. You do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, so, especially when I just had my, my, uh, just mustache. When yeah. I used to have just mustache, no beard. Yeah. That was the thing everybody was like, oh, is that the nose mustache? That was yeah. the thing everybody would say. I don't like that one because is that the Hitler version? <laughs> what, 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 what do you mean it's got the little? Yeah. Why does it have yeah. just a little mustache? You know what? Yeah. It's, it's, let's get rid of it. Yeah. What happened with it? <laughs> yeah. That's insulting. Is that the intern? Does she? <laughs> no, that's, that's just gone. Get it out. Where, where, Did you get that from like the leftover where, racist? <laughs> <laughs> the racist pot. We're not doing any more of those. Forget it. Nobody get that a lot. People. Oh, no. there's another one. No. <laughs> no, I mean, you have two. No, you. I'm sorry. It just, you got. Not, you got two of them. I, I wanted full revelation. Man. Let's look. Gone. Okay. Off. Is there another one? No. That's it. That's it. Two. Two and done. I always, but yeah, my 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 comedy is for sure in my face. Yeah, because because I'm expressive. It's great. Yeah, so that's I. Man, there's, there's no insult there. You yeah, know? I did a lot of like like. How do you feel about the self deprecating stuff? Because I I think every comedian at some point in their act and their growth spurt went through it. Like I used to do a whole bit about having no chin. Yeah, how I could never play the violin because <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't hold it under there. Like yeah, you just you basically yeah. go chest to lip. Yeah, <laughs> like if I put a turtleneck sweater on, I slide right through to the bottom. Yeah, I, I used to say like I'm the best guy to be in a fight with because no one can ever hit me because the the fists always go right right past. I mean, self deprecating is like I think that in comedy, especially now, yeah. Uh, people like that because they because because there's this whole movement of like you know don't talk about anyone else yeah. like don't like you know they, they're, they're, there's this thing in yeah. people to not make like as if no one should be made fun of except you yeah you know what I mean which is like it's like now nah, yeah you know you're, you're not buying into that right? I don't buy into it at all yeah good but, but it it does make you have to be more thoughtful. It's you awful know. in terms of what, though? In because there of, is a fine line between, and this, this is very subjective in yeah. terms of, like, mean. Yeah. The, the, the line between mean and funny. 
the line between, uh, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's like you want, because like if I'm talking about you, yeah. like even the way you um, talked about bringing out the Hitler thing, <laughs> the right. glasses, yeah. even the way you talked about that, there's a way you were doing that because you were, <laughs> yeah. he has another one. No, I mean, you brought it up this time. It wasn't me. It was. Oh, come me. on, guy. So, you brought this one up. It's not, this one's not on me. Bro, let's come on. Let's call a potato a potato here. <laughs> okay. Come on, okay, guy. Okay, so what I'm saying is yeah. like even in this moment right now, sure. even the way you presented it, you're having fun. But you, you easily could have been what someone would consider mean about it. Right. It could have been perceived as mean, but even still to some people funny. So that's what right. I'm saying about being thoughtful about it. You were being thoughtful by saying like, hey, listen, I don't want to. I mean, that's what I'm saying. So there's ways to do that in our yeah, jokes. I would never want to be mean. Forget it. <laughs> uh, but the way I... If there's another one, I'm walking out of no, here. No, there's no more. Three three, and three, or whatever the saying is. So stupid. <laughs> no, I'm so... But here's the thing. I came at it from a very legitimate and warm place because yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when I saw you up there the first time... It just made me happy. Yeah, because I know. I get it. It's one. It's 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 sort of a bit of that Groucho Marx yeah, yeah, look. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. So, where, where those glasses are from were based sort of on yeah, his yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. But that was a comedic look that was as present to me as Charlie Chaplin and Laurel and Hardy. Yeah, and so, yeah. So when you sort of had a sort of resemblance to it, I went, "Oh my god, this guy's funny already!" And yeah. then on top of your killer material. Well, I, I I think that like I have like this like having a weird look, you know. Yeah. It helps me to like, then I can talk. I, I feel like I get away with a lot more on stage because of, you know, when you come, you know, you come at, some, you know, you disarm people with your look and then you, then you might make a joke about something where they go, oh, <laughs> I didn't so, know you were going to talk about that. You know what so I mean? So you're saying you get a, away with a lot more on stage with. <laughs> Well, you brought it up again. You, I did not. Well, you said I get away with a lot more. Okay, well. I mean, guy, if you're going to try to pin the tail listen, on the donkey. The budget on this podcast. I mean, guy, the, the, let's the, not twist the, things the, around. The pro- I, I didn't take you for a prop comic. Well, these aren't props. This is a conversation <laughs> starter. But if you're uncomfortable with it, you know, fuck so- it. I mean, okay. wow. Now I know there's more. So <laughs> There's no more. Four, <laughs> no. four on the there's floor. More. Four there's more. Four on the floor. There's no, more. You're the it. worst. <laughs> wouldn't do it. Come on. Uh, so I just, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I, I saw this uh, producer. Oh, here we go. No, no, there's this producer was on Instagram. I, I don't yeah. know what her name was, but she was like, uh, let's stop doing fat jokes. And she goes, I promise you they're not funny. And I read that and I thought to my, I heard that and I thought to myself, ah. Oh, they're super funny. They're super funny. Yeah, they're, like, like, yeah. like, stop. Yeah. So, but, the, but what I really hear, yeah, is let's be kind to people. Let's find, you know, that, yeah. you know what I mean. But it's just kind of, you just kind of go. It's that's one of those things that comedy it dips into this. It's got to have danger. There's a little that's like, like you can't watch the Indy 500 and tell all the cars, look, let's just go into third gear and not <laughs> fifth gear. Yeah, you got you got to go into the danger zone with comedy. Well, sometimes I say like I say that there's always a butt of the joke, right? And sometimes that butt gets slapped. <sighs> I and, couldn't agree and more. Ha- <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you brought it up. Dude, if you're gonna, you said that. You said there's gotta be a butt to the top. Look, guy, I don't know what the hell is wrong with oh you. Oh my god! But seriously, <laughs> if you're gonna, I don't know why I'm getting. <laughs> look, look, Eric, Eric, please. <laughs> So, oh, you're taking them off. I can take them off too. Uh, I'm not gonna throw you just, mine. Well, I can't. As you can see, it's not really connected. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine little, if it was. Yeah, if your yeah, eyes came out yeah, of your yeah, skull. Yeah, like, oh no! The, 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 <laughs> the, 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 the gig is up. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Harland. I'm so excited. We finally have some Harland Highway merchandise for you guys. T-shirts, coffee mugs, stickers available at harbling.com. So get on it, Pavement Pounders. Harland Highway merch. Woo!
<laughs> Wait, did they? That, see, I went to Groucho Marx. But you said Mr. Potato Head. Is that was that what the reference? Oh, was? there was a lot of yeah. There was a lot of people that yeah, that say that too. Okay. Bobby Lee started was, that. Is that hurtful or is that fun? No, no it's she's just, like. I, is that in the danger zone? No, is that the no, fun no, danger no. zone. No, the that, fun danger zone. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. That's the fun. Like you, you, you just got to know. Yeah. What you are. You cannot do fat jokes. You cannot do fart jokes. You think self awareness. Yeah. But you, you got to do, humor's always got to be able to step into the, the edge zone, right? Yeah. It's a weird. Ugh. But you don't subscribe to that. Like, you, you, you haven't let that affect your comedy, have you? Um, No, but at the same time, I'm trying to be more thoughtful. But you're. But what does all... that mean? Or like, explain Listen, okay, thoughtful. Okay, so think of it like, think of the Me Too movement. Okay. Okay. So if you have jokes, say, about women. You're right. making fun of women because they're hilarious. Yeah. You know what I mean? So now you have to find, you can't just, it can't just be like totally misogynistic, you know? Because, but why? You can, because. Not that I want it to be, but I'm just asking the question, be, why? Because if that's what people are getting out of it, because what happens is yeah. the person you're making fun of, you yeah. want them to laugh. Right, right. So if they can't get past the message Okay. If they can't get past how the message is being conveyed to get to the humor, then it's up to us as performers, comedians, to like make sure that we're presenting this in a way, even if we're still saying the same biting, funny thing about, yeah. you know you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, it's just about, it's just the thoughtfulness in the words so we can get to the same point. We could get to the same place without it being like cut through, you know, so if it's me, if it's talking about women, if it's talking about fat people, you know, it's like, yeah. how can we talk about it as, as, as opposed to just being like, oh, this big old fat, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, that's what I mean by thoughtful. You know what okay, I mean? Okay, okay. It, it, and, and I get it because I'm, I'm like that too. I never want someone to leave my show and feel like their feelings were hurt. I want to have fun with them. Right. I want to play with them. And more often than not, they make themselves look stupid with their answers. Right. But I've, I've seen comics, like, just go into, like, anger, like Dr. Jekyll zone. Yeah. And just, like, I've, d- I've done that. That's, you that's, have? that's what That's what happens to me. Oh. So, so I've had to, like, really yeah. work on that. And that, But yeah. that has something to do with even offstage. I talk about it in therapy. You know what I mean? About... Yeah. You know, like why you anger know, issues? Yeah, about yeah. but no, because it's like we feel so insulted that this thing that we're doing is being interrupted. Oh right, right, and and, and, and we don't like being misunderstood. Like that's yeah. the main thing. Like yeah. if you're like we say a joke and then somebody gets upset, that's upsetting because we're going. That's not what I meant. Right. You're putting words in my mouth, but that's what people do. Right. I mean, the other night I was in the main room at the okay, comedy here store, we go. and there was some guys in the front row, and they oh, were boy. they were like. They Australian. Were, I don't know who they were, but they were like going crazy. They were acting up, and Rick Ingram was on stage. You know, he messes with people, so yeah. it's like so they they had that same energy going. Okay. So I come out after him, and the guy is clearly like he's still who's this guy? He's still talking and acting up. He was saying that about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As doing a set, and I can tell people around him are just kind of like well, shut up already. Yeah. So I I leaned out. I was like, hey man, it's time for you to shut the fuck up. Okay, it's time, wow. to, you know, it's time for you to be quiet. So anyways, my point is, I've continued my set, but it was already awkward and weird. Because yeah. this is what happens when you do that. You don't know that there's 200 other people that don't even know what's going on. Right, All they she's saw, right at the front. Yeah. All they saw was me uh, having a, a crazy reaction. Yeah. So anyways, when I get off stage, I tell the next comic, I go, ah, something's up with this guy. The guy actually fell over during my set because he's drunk. He fell over. So I've I've had that happen. All right, so yeah. he's at, so yeah. this is like not a good situation. Yeah. So now they're gonna kick him out, and these other people in the crowd sort of around him are mad about it. They're like, yeah. "He's not even doing anything," and uh, that's the part that bugs yeah. me the most. That bugged me the most because now you're the bad guy. That, yeah. yeah, it bugged me the most because I was like, "Oh, you didn't just see him fall over." Yeah, you didn't just see him like you know like people think that it's like like it's their right in a comedy show because they don't. It's the least respected art form. Yeah, stand up comedy. It is. Yeah, yeah, I think so. What? I think I it's, don't know if I agree with that. What do you think is less respected than stand up comedy? I mean, stand up comedy is so hard that I think people respect it because no, what, if they respected it, they'd be in the crowd and they would shut up. What? Well, no. Here's what I. Th- it's not about respect. I think they don't understand the etiquette, but I think they respect it because one of the one of the biggest phobias in human existence public is speaking. public speaking. And that's basically what we're doing. Yeah, but public speaking and being funny is not the same thing. There, everyone in that crowd, there's, there's not everyone, but yeah. there's a portion of people that act up in the crowd because yeah. they think that they could do exactly what we do. That's right. They think that's why I'm saying they don't have respect the art form. 
But the, they I, don't understand that it's like even somebody like that's up there, like yourself. You do. You have a way. You play with the crowd. Yeah. But they think that that. Oh, I could do that. I could do that. Oh, he's just talking. He's just saying stuff, and it's just like okay. But here's where I'd interject. <laughs> they uh-huh. they they they're saying that from the shadows, from their seat. They're not saying that from being on stage in the spotlight. And I think if they made the transition from seat to stage, they'd go, oh, well, my God, of, do I ever respect this? This oh, is so hard. Of course. But right? the fact that they the, – well, my point is sometimes I don't need to paint. Yeah, that's true. I don't need to yeah. get, in, get in front of an easel to go, well, damn, this is <laughs> – Yeah, yeah, yeah. Picasso. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. I don't need to do that. Yeah. I, I know. Yeah. I don't need to like sit in front of like, you know, get like a, you know, a, a sculpture or yeah. like a, to, to know that, oh, this is really hard to do. I can see it and be like, I can appreciate the art and, and how yeah. it was made from there. I can hear music and be like, oh, wow. I yeah, that's true. You no, know, comedy is the one thing that people sit in the crowd going, I can do this. I don't, jeez. Hey, just you know, we have difference of opinion. We it's have fine. A difference, of, but I, 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 I get what you mean. Like we've been chased by those people. Yeah. But to me, I don't know if it's a it's a thing of respect or it's a thing of ignorance. <clears throat> but but you know, it's a little bit of this and that maybe. Mm, I don't it's know. It's a little bit of this and that. It's a <laughs> it's a it's a hybrid blend of agreeing and disagreeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. But speaking of those topics, you mentioned fat and me too. Mm -hmm. Would we be remiss if we didn't toss out like an example? Like, did you actually make, as touchy a subject it is, did you actually make any jokes on me too? Uh, No, I don't mean making jokes about that. I meant like before that, maybe if you were making some like, super misogynistic jokes I yeah because no, you, yeah. you find it funny right so then later you might not be as misogynistic anymore after that got it you know because you don't because then you don't want everybody in the crowd just to be like oh it's just about this right I mean, I mean for me like getting married I, I found that I've been you know I, I think women are hilarious and they're 50 percent of the population yeah so it's are like 50 whatever it is dude whatever it is I'm Holy just saying shit. I'm just saying what else are we supposed to talk about <laughs> You know, like the, the the interaction between men yeah. and women has been hilarious since the dawn of time, I'm yeah. sure. You know, you can go back to Adam and Eve if you believe in that. And that's a funny interaction. You know what I mean? So it's like. Yeah, but they were limited. All they had to joke <laughs> about was an apple, a tree, and a snake. I mean, that's not and a lot look of what she did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying it's yeah. like, you know, you just, you just, again, you just become more, you know, you know, you become more thoughtful. Do you have. A fat joke in the chamber? I mean, we're talking about fat jokes. Um, can, can, we, can we toss man, one out? Do you I, have a fatty joke I don't, I don't in the even, chamber? I don't even know. I mean, I... I got a couple if no, you want. No, yeah, let me hear it. I mean, I... I are you going to do it in the... Oh. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Excellent suggestion. <laughs> Thank you for that. See? Thank I you. mean, yeah, <laughs> makes sense. I'm doing a it, joke. It only makes it only makes it better. Yeah. So uh, I was uh, attacked by a uh, a fat girl the other day. Uh-huh. She came rushing right at me. I was out for a walk. Big three hundred Walmart whaler came at me, and uh, I had no choice. I had to pull out the peppercorn spray. <laughs> All right, you know what? <laughs> Fuck off, asshole. You've set me up. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That, All right, let me try that old school that way? <laughs> Fuck you. I'm not going down in flames because of you. How many do you have? <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> I saw this fat girl the other day. Uh-huh. And uh, I said, how you doing? She said, well, I'm not doing very well. And I go, why not? She goes, have you heard of Lyme disease? And I said, I sure have. She goes, I've got key Lyme pie disease. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Something about it makes it mean yeah. with this. <laughs> key Lyme. See, funny. Funny, right? Yeah. But but at the same, but you know, it, you know, if you're at like, you know, a Lizzo concert. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Then then you get pummeled into the ground. You get stomped. 
But that's the uh, thing. It, th- th- that's what people miss is when you do these jokes, they're so ridiculous. It's the wordsmithing. It's the wordplay. They're so yeah. they're so dumb and stupid that you got to get that it's playfulness. It's not. It's yeah. Not see, this is what I'm saying. Vindictive or mean. I understand or, yeah, that, but, yeah. and this is the, the 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 plight of the comic is that is our thought process. Yeah. But the people that receive that information, received that, yeah. they, they're living in their own truth and whatever's going on with them. And they're just kind of like, I don't, I don't like this. Do you have one my fat aunt, joke? My aunt is fat. They'll be oh, like that. Do you, you have know? one fat joke? You know, I'm trying to think. I just, I really like, have put all the bad ones out of my head, like I Like even a bad one, an oldie from way back, like... I'm, you know what? Can I just still think about it? I just, I didn't oh, know that please. I was, you know. No, I would love, I think we'd all love to hear a, <laughs> and you know you're going to put the glasses on when you do it, right? <laughs> I got them off. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I just, I'm trying to think if I, I don't even I actually remember. had a me too joke and it was such a sensitive, yeah. like, it was such a sensitive. Oh, what was kind of, it? You, you know, you don't want to make fun of it, but then you want to be topical. It's so fun. But um, what I'm saying it's is there's just, part of it that is like, as a comic, when yeah. you really look at it, there's yeah. a part of it that's, it's there's some funny here. Yeah. And we're thinking like, hey, can we discuss this and still yeah. be funny? And they're just like, you know. Yeah, I think mine was something like uh, my dad had no idea about the Me Too movement. I, I said to him the other day, have you have you heard about this uh, Me Too movement? And he goes, no, I've been hearing all about it. Who is this Chinese chick? Sounds like she's really putting out. <laughs> That's a that's great layered joke. Yeah, though. it's a layered. You know, I mean, it's like if 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 people would listen and so they would hear that and they would be like, oh, so he made a a joke about his father who was uh, not up at the times, right. came from an era that right. he was super racist and yeah, he doesn't yeah. realize what he's saying. I yeah. mean, there's so much layers there, but yeah. there's people out there to hear that in instantly in a get moment mad. and just be like, oh, this is oh my god, they get all clenched. Yeah, you're being eight. Stop Asian hate. Stop, you know, this, you know, it's not that, that kind of thing. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it just becomes, I mean, I have oh. my, my, um, oh. well, I talk about my mom's dementia, you know. Oh, for real? She yeah, has yeah. It? My mom has dementia. Ooh. And okay, I talk, that's, and I, that's, that's like not funny, but it, can you make that? Oh, yeah, funny? I make it. I make it funny okay. the way I because people come up to me afterwards and they go, Thank you. I've never laughed at dementia. My, I've never laughed at it and it's in my life okay. and blah, blah. And that's why I do it, you know? Okay. Wow. Yeah. But the that's... point of it is at the end, though, after I talk about it, yeah. I'm saying everything and I'm talking about like now I, I stop fighting with my mom, you know? Because that's what I was doing. When you, you don't know that with dementia, you're not supposed to fight with them. You're not supposed not. to reason with them. It's not good. Why? Because they can't. Fight. I mean, they, they don't understand. They, you, you can't reason with somebody with dementia. It's just because they have no reason. Yeah, left. yeah. You just have to like wow. go with whatever they're saying. Oh my you know? gosh! Yeah. But then when I stopped fighting, though, I felt like oh, I was happier and she was happier. And you know, when I say to the crowd, I go, "This is what you know. This is how we're supposed to live. You know, you got to stop fighting." And I'm talking to the men because men fight a lot. And I said, "Stop fighting with the women in your life." Huh? You have to treat all of them like they have dementia. <laughs> You know, I say that. Wait, say that again. <laughs> I say that anyway. I just think a fluorescent light bulb just went off in my head. <laughs> Anyways, the point is. I got off the dating apps, but I'm going on right after this. <laughs> Wow. The point is, it's just a fun, it's just a, a, a funny tag at the, after this really like, I'm having this emotional moment and I make this yeah. funny joke, you know? And so it's just like, you know, you have people who are just like, oh my God, that's the most misogynistic thing. Like they hear what they want to hear, yeah. you know? And I've had, I've had that like, I used, I can't stand when like, you know what it really pisses me off? Let oh, me tell you right we now. Go. I'm going to tell you go. this, this yeah. is what really gets me. Oh, I love it. When, if you're it's on stage, up, if you're on stage and you're making jokes about something, yeah. And like, let's say you made that Me Too joke. Then yeah. I go on after you. I yeah. go on after you and yeah. I go, ha, huh, Harlan Williams, huh? <laughs> he comes from a line of racists, right, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, then it's just like, I I, uh, that, oh, man. Have you had that happen? Yes. What? I've had it happen at the comedy store where some like, you know, I'm trying to be a, like some comic goes on after me and like totally misunderstands. What he I've virtue said. signaled you. Virtue signaled me. Oh, I come on. A comic that. did a comic. that? Oh, there's a lot of comics doing that. Trust me. What? There's a lot of comics out here trying to be good people. Oh, that's <laughs> bullshit. I'm a good person. Yeah, to me, that's not a true comic then. If they're going to do do that. Oh, I just had this crazy interaction with somebody. Oh, that's brutal. A, the other day, somebody sent me this stupid message on after my laugh fact. I was at the laugh fact. Yeah. And I have this material now where I'm just talking about like, you know, the COVID and vaccines. And I'm just saying like, I, I was too old and too fat to politicize the virus. 
Okay. I was at an age where it was like, I have to take this vaccine. You were the guy that yeah. it was coming for. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, I, I am, obesity is in, I gotta, I can't sit here and be like, whatever. And I was like, you know, these but people were doing that, you know? Yeah. And I'm making, I'm giving examples of both sides. I'll be like, you know, you have one side who like, they got, you know, they, they're wearing masks outside and getting four vaccination shots yeah. and not paying their rent, you know? Yeah, you yeah. have these people, and like, and, I, and my joke is, I say, getting three or four vaccination shots is like getting bundled insurance and getting boat insurance, and you don't even have a boat, you know? Right, right. And then I talk about the other side, where I'm talking about, like, Meatloaf, who was like, I'm never getting vaccinated, yeah. and he died of COVID. So I'm making fun about this, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I get some idiot hits me up in the thing about like, you got a fact check. You know, people were taking the vaccine because they were, you know, and I'm thinking to myself, oh, you didn't hear, you didn't, you didn't get the point I was making. Yeah, right. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You didn't get the point I was making. And the thing that ticks me off the most is that it's always, it's sadly the left side. Yeah. That is the dumbest. Yeah, what are they saying? They're the ones. It's the yeah. left side who comes at you like, "Oh, you 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 don't know what you're talking about," or like, they, like they don't not they're they're missing that. Hey, you know this is just fun, man. So they're the ones that are trying to preach at you. Yes. Oh wow, that's yes. sad to hear. I think the right people that are more conservative, they love jokes. Yeah, they just want you to talk about both sides. That's all. Right, right. That's what I find with yeah. that. When I'm in the middle of the country doing comedy yeah. and I'm doing jokes, they're the ones that come and they just they say, "Hey, that was funny," and I'm glad you you I'm glad you said something about both sides because yeah, I to agree them, with that. Because yeah. to them, all they see is like these like you know virtue signaling liberal comics yeah. that come in and yeah. just like Trump is dumb and blah blah blah, and they just say that's all they talk talk about yeah. but they don't talk about the other side at all yeah yeah i think like for me and when it comes to covid and the vaccine both sides were stupid yeah it like was the, the fringe it, side it was all a shit show it was yeah. a shit show you know you got these people who are on like getting vaccinated on instagram this is my fifth booster shot yeah like who are you doing that for yeah yeah <laughs> if it's if social media didn't exist you wouldn't be doing you wouldn't that. be doing yeah. that yeah yeah. So, so it was those people I'm talking about. And to me, it's inferred. But then you have people who are in the crowd. And then the thing that really bugged me about the message is the guy's mentioning people I'm mentioning in my joke. You know, he's like, you know, stupid people like meatloaf. And I was like, I'm thinking to myself, I brought that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So you don't even hear half of what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's going on in the comedy world. Yeah, it's you know? a, it's annoying too. It's so annoying because yeah. because I I'm like you. I always try to play like if I do a joke about Trump, I'll do a joke about Hillary, and I'll do right, a joke right, about Bernie. Right, I right. try to I try to cover it all because I'm not there to push my opinion on people. I'm there to push my comedy on people. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that audience is as diverse. Or you're, or you're saying you're 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 showing your opinion of all of it. Like you don't yeah. just have one sided opinion. That's right. Yeah. Like 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 because what we're saying is like they're all hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's my point about it. I'm yeah. saying they're all hilarious. Yeah. Biden is hilarious. Yeah. Hillary's hilarious. Trump is hilarious. They're all. they're all hilarious in their own way. And it's like I'm just saying, hey, can we point this out? Can we all so? And, and also, I could be like. Hey, you conservatives. Oh, I agree with you on this. Yeah. Hey, you liberals. I agree with you on yeah. this. And I'm just showing you, like, it's like these idiots that are like, they only care about the echo chamber. Yeah, they stay in one lane. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know. And, and that's, when did that happen in and, this country? And that's not for com. Listen, I, all I'm saying is that yeah. doesn't mix well with comedy. It doesn't. It doesn't. That's yeah. the thing. This is our world. Yeah. Comedy, it doesn't. If you want to be that way in your life, when yeah. you go to church, you, I get it that if you're a Catholic and you go to church, maybe at church you don't want to talk about what's going on in the Satanist community. Yeah, right. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I get it. Not necessarily. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> Lucifer. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You don't want like you're at your, before you do communion. We have like we have a guest speaker <laughs> yeah, yeah. from the Satanist colony. Yeah. It's like no, that's not they don't mix. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, hey guys out there, your bullshit one sided politics. Yeah. Don't come to comedy shows. Well, this is what's destroyed late night. Um, talk shows oh, for yeah. me. I used to stay up religiously and yeah, watch, yeah, yeah. you know, Leno and and Letterman and yeah. and all these guys. And now I can't watch them because they're all one sided, obviously yes. one way. Yes, and that's okay. But do it, do a dance in the middle. Yeah. I used to watch Bill Maher all the time, and I loved him. I thought he was very intelligent. But I was like, 
Bill, I can't watch you anymore because no matter what anyone brings up, I know your answer is going to be on this side. You know what? I disagree. I oh, disagree. Really? Oh, you have Sometimes he bends a little. You, but you haven't watched in a while? When's the last I time you watched? I stopped watching like four years ago. Oh, you got to you got to check back in. Okay. Oh, he's If he's more in the middle, oh, I would love that. He's real. he's Cuz that's that's what I think moderators oh, need. No, no, you need and to check, late night you, hosts need to be rise listen, that middle. Let me, let me speak from Bill. Oh, here, here we go. You got to check on. back in. Hang on. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> Talk to me, Daddy. <laughs> Papa, don't preach. I'm keeping the baby. I just got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's number seven. It must be a pack of ten, right? Is it a ten pack? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, friend. <laughs> I just, I wish the mustache was a little thicker. Yeah, I know, right? But, you know, the Hitler stash. Is it, just, it sort of is, but yeah. it's fuzzy. It's sort of fuzzy, though. Yeah, so boy, because he had a long week or something. You know what I mean? Oh, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, man, I, 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 I totally follow your vibe. And yeah. it's interesting because, you know, I've only seen you do shorter sets. Like, I, you know, when, when your headliners yeah, like yeah, us, yeah, 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 we yeah, don't yeah. get to see. But we, we usually see each other do short, like, 15-minute yeah, sets. Yeah, yeah. And... Based on what I saw from you, I thought maybe your leanings were a little more liberal on stage, but I haven't seen it all. So what you're saying is you kind of like to swiggle oh, yeah. down the yeah. middle more. That's yeah. that's good. Yeah. yeah I don't and, and and by the way, it's like and even if somebody is liberal leaning, I yeah. have no problem with that if they yeah. just 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 make what you're saying like funny like it's okay yeah. you could it's like uh, that's all i want yeah. too is like you could be like the, a staunch liberal you could be a super leftist <laughs> be funny with whatever you're saying yeah i agree don't just I make agree. it like you know you're you're, you're just making a point don't you know be I mean? up there and preach yeah yeah make it and, a I, and i find, and yeah. i find myself i was doing that sometimes and so i've been oh, really working okay. on that okay yeah preach it on both sides i mean it's just uh, like i say yeah yeah you haven't really watched me a lot because i i'm very much like I, yeah I, I go after both sides oh good because i think they're both ridiculous the, the, i do too the, I... the fringes of these sides are so ridiculous i keep saying the far left and the far right are so far apart i'm yeah. in the middle with a fascist <laughs> you know yeah I mean? yeah <laughs> that's no. how you know what i mean yeah. like that's how far apart they yeah. are from each other and i'm with, sitting with a fascist like wait we're on the same page yeah. you know what i mean isn't it sad it's sad and it, it's like in that process it's pulling the fabric of society apart it is it's, just, it's really tough to watch and one of the things that keeps the fabrics of society together is comedy interesting point yeah you know, explain that that behind beca that because when you can't like look the base the base common reaction to most situations yeah is laughter yeah that's true you can you laugh at funerals yeah, you laugh at you know you just laugh. That's the, it's the way. If I agree with you, I might laugh. If I disagree with you, I might laugh. Yeah, it's yeah. just if I'm angry at you, I might laugh. Yeah, you la you laugh. You know, your girl does something, and you're like, <laughs> ah, really? You know what I mean? You laugh because it makes you feel. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, so that's just a reaction yeah. that we have. And so sometimes I feel like when something like major is happening, when something that is like you know really tearing away at us, yeah, the comedian's job comes in and we. We poke fun at it. Yeah. And then we that it makes people go like, oh, all right, this isn't as serious as I thought. And then now let me look at it through a different lens. I like that word poke because I feel like we let the air out of it to yes. a degree. We let it breathe. We, we yes. bring in some levity to it. That's pour what the it is. sauce on even it to most, lighten the even moment. Even in the most like, serious situation. Like 9 11, any of this, it's shuttlecraft. Like, you don't want to make cruel, hurtful jokes. But like you said, at funerals, there's I've never been to a funeral where I haven't leaned over and whispered a joke to someone. I remember one of the You need it. It's therapeutic for the human soul and mind and Well, I remember psyche. having to speak at a funeral. Uh, it was for a kid, you know? Oh, God. You know yeah. what I mean? And it was, I wasn't a comic yet, you know? I, yeah. I was thinking about it, you know? Yeah. And I just remember, like, you know, I had to go up. And, you know, it's like they, they said, okay, well, the priest will call you up, you know? So I'm just sitting there like, oh, my God, don't cry. You know what I mean? Don't cry, you yeah, cry. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying okay. just you know keep because it together. of the kid. Yeah, yeah. and his family and and when a child dies, the oh. funerals are really big because yeah. they know more people. Yeah, you know when you die, Unless it's going to be like hate them too. Right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> when you die, there's going to be like six people there. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> it's like thanks. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I get it. <laughs> uh, fuck you. Fuck you. Six, how about 14? How about that? Uh, 
You want to fight fire with fire? It's, it's a 10-pack. I'm pretty sure it's a 10-pack. So we got one more, guy. That's the over-under moving forward on the podcast. Is there one more, or is there more? Let's find out. <laughs> That's number 10. You're right. You were right. So it was a 10-pack. He's good, gang. He's good. <laughs> so what I'm saying is like, you know, when you're, so I'm, uh, you know, yeah. I'm sitting here. You're at a child's funeral. You know, and then like, I'm waiting for the guy, the priest is going to, he's going to tell me it's time for you to come up, read the eulogy. At the child's funeral. Yeah. And then they play Ave Maria, you know. So I'm sitting in the crowd and all of a sudden, Ave Maria. You know, and so now I'm just like, just freaking. <laughs> It's opera, dude. That's the only part Let you know, though. Up. What's the next part? Uh, well, you know what? You know what? <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, oh no! no! You asked for it. It was a 15 There's pack. There's two on. There's two on. <laughs> Look at this. It wasn't a 10. It's a 12 pack. There's fucking two. <laughs> oh, you bought two 10 packs? Oh, it was a 15 pack. Fuck. So then, so sorry, sorry. So then me, there's Ave Maria, and then they. they all right, we're at <laughs> a children's funeral, <laughs> and so then they call me this up. Is serious. So now I have to go up and uh, you know talk. I have to read this thing. He's 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 survived by his great grandmother. That's how. How did the kid die? It was ter- it was tragic. It was it was a he was in a go kart in a street and got hit by a car. So he was in a coma for a little while, and they had to take him off the machines, you know. So they had this big funeral, you know. And I was up there, and then when I finished reading the stuff, it was, they wanted me to talk about him, you know. And I, um, I co, I was the coach. I coached him in sports, and so I was like, you know, started to talk about him, and I was like, you know, as I started to talk, people are laughing, you know. They're smiling. They're like, I'm, right. you know, because I'm talking about him. I'm like, you know, he's probably, you know, he's getting in trouble right now, right? That kind of stuff. Yeah. You know? And I know, I, th- I think, and I was like, I think a lot of his girlfriends are here that don't know <laughs> he had a lot of girlfriends, you know? Right. Like, I'm just like talking, remembering him in that way. And people are laughing and stuff, you know? And, I, and that was the moment. It truly was the moment I was like, oh, I could be a comedian. But see. You know, it was in that moment I was like, oh, yeah. But let me let me throw something else at you. Uh-huh. I, I'm not, and if there's more to this story, I want to. No, no, to hear that's it. it. That's it. That's it. I'm but just saying that. Was just, I'm just giving you an example of how laughter is a base. It's a common base reaction in all situations. Well, I've been in situations because I'm a comedian. I was in a couple of situations where I went up to give a very heartfelt speech at a friend's wedding mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. at a, an event for my dad. He was turning eighty or whatever. And I went up on stage, and 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 one uh, one time I, I I wrote a very like like a really sort of emotional poem, and at yeah. one point I, I I I opened up, and and the people in the crowd just started laughing, mm-hmm. and I was I, I was I, you? I was mortified. I was like, guys, I'm not doing a routine, but it, it was just it was the same thing. Laughter comes and goes in weird places, but you and, have to remember like the messenger. Okay. Yeah. The messenger has no chin. <laughs> and is no- you know what? I'm not kidding. You're not if you're gonna if you're gonna fuck around, guy. Daddy can fuck around too. I'm just saying, like, if you're known for everyone in there knows who you are, it is like a they actually are looking for it. I know, and you it know, was weird because they, they needed it. Or whatever it is, and they're just like and so. Sometimes when you know, see, I find this when like when I'm doing an uh, I'm on I'm on an acting job. Okay, you know, yeah, you're on an acting job, then it becomes this kind of thing where they're just like, hey, you know, let's be grounded and blah blah blah. Because yeah. our tendency is like, well, I'm gonna be funny, and even when I think, well, let me be serious, and then people are laughing, then I'm just like, oh, I'm funny. Yeah, That's just and so it's 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 to find some sort of grounded vulnerability, you know, in a situation. Yeah, that. <laughs> What the way of this conversation are you those stupid? But no, this I'm is, listening. But this is what I'm saying, though. Even in this moment, people can sure. people might laugh at sure. the fact that we're having this serious conversation and you had the thing on. But us, in the moment, we're having a serious conversation. We are. So people viewing that laugh. That's just, it is what it is. Maybe they don't understand the way we do. Yeah. 
But whatever that reaction is, is like, you know, that's what draws people to do comedy in the first place. Do you ever remember the first time you made somebody laugh and, and, and that sort of like euphoric feeling that it gave you of being like, oh, I made them do that? Hell yeah, and I didn't need these. Yeah. Well, you might have, but. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. You say what, so. I mean, fuck. I just, oh, was this a 20 pack? Like, what well, is this? Guy, it doesn't matter. If this you're might have keep, been a 20 pack. I feel like you're making me do it. <laughs> okay. Let's be call a spade a spade. I was going to do one, and you just keep coming at me, player. <laughs> I mean, dude. Unreal. I feel I'm almost at the point where I'm feeling abused. <laughs> We're going to have to, we have to auction these off, I think. Well. <laughs> You will be coming back to this podcast. They're gonna, staying right I'm gonna, here. I'm going to have to because... Yeah, they're the, staying the, right the, here. The money that was spent. Yeah, I'm not going to waste them. You're it's coming fun. back every week now that I think about it. <laughs> so no, silly. No, seriously. But do you find, too, that as you get a little older, like we're obviously getting a little yeah, older, yeah, we got yeah. a little salt and pepper. Yeah. And this could be dreaded or this could be good. This could be wisdom. Do you feel like you're getting a little more curmudgeon -y and yes. a little more like as you get older has For that sure. shifted your comedy has yeah it has put a different hue on it type but, of thing but now i'm trying to be self-deprecating about that because oh, okay because it's like it really interesting it goes right back yeah, to the beginning with the self-deprecation yes. because okay. it's, cause it's weird to like think that oh we're never going to be old and you think to yourself what is being old okay. and what i realize now is like being old is just like not relating to whatever young people are doing and like, and, right. and, and feeling like what, you know, so getting old is like when like we come from an era where you, you talked on the phone. Yeah. You know, you pick the phone up, you called someone, you connected in that way. Yeah. And, and then these young people thinking that they, they don't need to connect like that, that they don't understand human interaction. They don't understand yeah. pheromones and they don't understand like eye contact and body language and all this stuff. And they're, they're, they're living their lives and they're sort of like, you know, well, I'm only going to talk to people like this and I'm going to swipe and I'm yeah. going to, and they don't, they have completely forgot. So I go, so then as a, you know, you, you go, what, what are you guys doing? Yeah. How can you date like this? And how can you, and you just go, oh, wow. I just caught myself one day being like, oh man, I, I'm, I'm old. Now hold that thought. Does that make you feel unhip? Because some days it makes me feel unhip, but then sometimes I swing around to the other side of it and I go, fuck you young kids. I'm so much smarter and so much more knowledgeable than you. Maybe not academically, but That's just in hip. life experience. So some days I feel like I'm on the, bad side of the youth and sometimes i feel like i'm on the superior side of the youth Do you ever have those swings i, I don't think of it like that because yeah. I, I know that cool has a shelf life oh interesting yeah cool How, has what a shelf is life. the shelf life shelf like i think like around 28 ish really you're done but then you look at a guy like Tom Brady, who's still cool. You look. Tom at Brady's not cool anymore. He comes. Tom Brady just. He's just a winning athlete now that he's not yeah. playing anymore. He's just. No. He's just the old guy. Okay. What he's, about like he, Sean Penn or uh, Jack he, Nicholson? He's, not, he's no still cool, isn't he? No. No. And not, 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 no. Oh, I'm mortified. You're just. You're just remembering them in a certain way. But people, I knew. I remember being at a comedy show a few years back, and I yeah. and I'm making a reference. I'm being like, "Oh, you probably into Brad Pitt." And the girl said, "It would take me to a girl in the front row." Yeah. Brad Pitt. She goes, "Oh, isn't he like 40? And in that moment, Jesus. in that moment, I was like, "Oh, yeah." Huh. That was our most handsome guy in the world reference yeah. 25 years ago. But wait a minute. Brad Pitt is like old now. But still, he's Look cooler and better looking. That's, and that's, a, an than that's an anomaly because he's rich and famous. But think of Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay. Think of how vilified he's being right now because he, he's dating a 25-year-old. Right. All of a sudden now, is he cool? Is he cool again? He's not cool anymore. He's, he's not. He's not king of the world anymore. Yeah. No, he's the old guy preying on whatever, you know. That's what they're saying. That's yes, what mean. they're saying. That's not what you're saying. No. That's what they're saying. Right. I always find it strange that, like, like the, we have this weird fascination with women in their mid-20s, in their 20s, of being like, like, what is it? Are they strong, independent women? Yeah. Or not? Yeah, right. Are they strong, independent women that can make choices and yeah. go to war and yeah. own businesses and yeah. pay rent? And date who they want. And, or, or, yeah. but, but apparently the only thing they can't handle is old dick. Yeah, right. Apparently, you know, you could be 25 and be like a, a, a bad bitch, strong, independent yeah. woman. But if some old dick comes around, all yeah. of a sudden 
she's a baby. Yeah. <laughs> You know, what I mean? you know that that's a choice that a lot of women make. They want a more mature guy, just like sometimes a young dude wants an older woman. You know, all I'm saying yeah. is, all I'm saying is, there is a time when you're not cool anymore. Wow. Okay. Are and we so I, cool still? No, dude. Come on, man. The things that we did before are cool, and they remember those things. It's the only reason why, reason why they would even talk to us, right? But if they're just like. <laughs> One of us isn't cool, maybe. <laughs> might be a 25. That might be a 25 pack. I'm really sure. I got to see the box that just came in because this is a lot. Dude, I'm just trying to stay cool. I think you said the intern and just said, just grab all of them. I, I want to see the phone call you were having. She was probably like, well, there's like a, there's a 20 pack. And then there's, you're like, just get them all. I'd like at this point for you to tell me again that I'm not cool. <laughs> Look me right in my fake eyes. Tell me I'm not cool. Those are your eyes. There's no lenses in those. Am I cool or not? You're you've done cool things. <laughs> Get that out of here. You've done cool things. Am I cool or not? <laughs> oh, you're so cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't want to bring out the third pair. You bring it, putting that on is like when an old guy your age gets plastic surgery, you know? You know, we have to like I always say, like, when old guys get plastic surgery, we have to treat them like we treat little kids playing hide and seek. We go, oh, I don't see you. <laughs> I don't. Where are you? You. <laughs> Can I invite you to do something right now with me? That's that's what I feel about your coolness. You're going. I'm cool, right? We got to be like this. <gasps> You're so cool. You are so cool, Harlan. You're the coolest guy in the room. Sometimes you don't have to say you're cool. You just are. <laughs> Will you be cool with me? Oh, oh my God. This Will doesn't even... Just this for a minute. This doesn't even make sense. Will you please... So I have to take off my real glasses to put over it, it, with my own big nose. Like this... Are you happy? Can we say it to each other? <laughs> you're Eric, so cool. Harlan. You're cool. And you're cool. We're cool. <laughs> All right. Were these the last two? <laughs> Don't ask stupid fucking questions. No. You gotta, you gotta, is there like a dwarf under here just feeding you that they just Maybe. keep peeling them off the ground? There's a glasses dwarf. <laughs> Now, I only we'll, say that because it's short and yeah. it would have to be no, a little person. We're not doing the sense of We have thing to be, here. The, you know no, what I mean? We're not. To all Fuck the little it. people out there. <laughs> to all the little people out there, you're little. You probably. Here's the thing. Uh huh. People from different sex of life probably like humor. If you're little people and someone yes. does little people jokes, they're not sitting there going, oh, I'm so offended. Most of them are going, that's me. He's talking about, I can and relate finally, to that. Thank it's you. funny. Same with blind people, same with with gay people, straight Whatever people. Whatever it is. Most people... Want to be included. And that's the, that's the fucking that's trucks of That's what we're trying it. to yeah. do. Yeah, but these the, these liberal types that are like, you know, fighting against that, they're just, they're all, this like, it's this virtue signaling like, I need to show you I'm a good person and I yeah. accept everyone. You know Jeff Die? You know Jeff Die, right, comic? When? Jeff Die, he's a funny comic. Yeah, but when did he die? <laughs> His last name is Die. He's stupid. <laughs> stupid, am I? Okay. Well, I don't know if you're going to call a guy in glasses stupid. You want to try that again there, uh, he had, Corky? He really has this really funny joke right now on Instagram. What is that it? He, it? It says, if he says, if Lizzo is so pretty, why do women get mad when I say you look like Lizzo? <laughs> oh, nice. Yes. Yeah, that's one of those head exploders. Yeah. <laughs> but what true. I'm saying is like when you say that to someone of those like the ilk of these like oversensitive like liberal type, they hear that and they don't even know what to do with themselves. Yeah. yeah. They just don't want to. So shout out. You guys should check out Jeff Dye. Jeff D. Y. E. is his last name. Jeff and why Dye. do so people funny. want to put all that energy into. I know. You know, I breaking know. down a joke and I getting know. offended. And I just know. Just sit back and it's like if you order a meal. How about this? How yes. about this? If you don't like it. Like I say, I don't like the glasses. I just go, oh, I don't like that. Yeah. And I move on. I don't have to be like, well, these glasses are yeah. a depiction of, you know, it's yeah. just, you just go, I don't, you know, 
this is not my cup of tea. This is this comedy's not my cup of tea. Yeah. And I move on. Can that so be, easy? Can that be an option too? Yeah. I actually don't even need you to understand. Yeah. I don't even care if you laugh or not. Yeah. How about just be like, I don't like it, and you move the fuck on. Oh, say that again. Move. I gotta, we gotta say it like this. Oh. We gotta put our glasses on. Oh, I like you. Now you're in the zone. Move, move the, the fuck, fuck on. on. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Dude, what a way to end. All right. <laughs> but there's one last thing we do with every guest before we go. You ready? You pull out five more glasses. <laughs> oh, I. Funny. Ah! Ask. <laughs> Tell me that's it. Come on. That's it. That, that's it. No. Yeah, I don't believe you anymore. You've now beat me down that I don't. Are you calling me a liar? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, you're a huge liar. <laughs> you you really thought I got to tell you something. Have Ow. you have you been on Rick Glassman's podcast? Yes. This is so Rick Glassman. Glass. Yeah, he Rick Glassman is just right now he's going like this. Harlan Williams. Angel clap, golf clap. He's like, "Well done, sir." So just Rick, you can use this part. <laughs> He's awesome. He's been on here twice. Of course. Yeah. This is so Rick Glassman. You'll be on here. I gotta twice. take a picture of this. Oh yeah, I can't yeah, wait to take be on a here picture again. of I, take a picture of the the glasses graveyard. Yeah, oh yeah, but let me let me do a quick little video of this because this yeah. is this is crazy. Gotta have this. Uh, so I'm on Harlan Williams podcast, uh, Rick, and he <laughs> He's got more <laughs> Hi, Rick. How are you? You son of a bitch. And then this is how many he was doing. This is, this is so you. <laughs> you know, I went to Rick Glassman's podcast school, right? School of <laughs> podcasting. <laughs> is that the learning annex? Yeah, you know, it's, it's like, like the DeVry of podcasting. Oh, my God, dude. <sighs> uh, but we're going to do one final segment here, Yeah, I'm sorry. Here, I'm sorry. Tell me what no, that segment not is. not at all. This is, a, this is something we do with all the guests, buddy. We pull out a Dutch clog. It's uh -huh. called Words from a Wooden Shoe. Okay. Inside this authentic Dutch clog are a bunch of words on okay. a piece of paper. Right. You reach in, uh -huh. take out a word, and see if it sparks a story or a memory from your life that you'd like to share with us. Okay. No well, looking. Is, just reach in there. Really scary now. See what you get. Okay. Words from a Wooden Shoe. Um, quirky Habit. Yes, go on. Uh, do I have a quirky habit? I do. It's, oh. it's like if I, like I have guilty pleasures when it comes to like movies. Oh, cool. Okay, so yeah. like I love Twilight. Mm. I love, I'm a big into vampires, yeah. but I love the Twilight movies. And I'll tell you, if I put on the Twilight movie, yeah, I have to watch all of them. Like, How I, many are there? There's four. Wow. So, and I'm like that with certain movies. So, like the other day, Hunger Games was on. Yeah. And I started watching, and I had to watch all of them. How many of those are There's there? There's four of those, too. So, it's just like, I just do that. So, I turn on Twilight, and I'll be like, oh, I got to watch all of this. So, isn't uh, Twilight all about drinking blood? No, it's not. And Hunger Games is all about it's eating. Not, it's not. Ooh. Why don't you just go to the drive-thru and cut your time in almost a third? <laughs> For all those Twilight fans and Hunger Games fans out there, I'm so sorry that he just, like, you know, he basically just whittled down our passion to, hey, to that. It's all comedy, gang. It's just <laughs> comedy. Uh, Eric, before we go, will you please plug your podcast? He has a well, great podcast. I have a play co co podcast. It's called Riffin with Griffin. I do a lot of solo ops, uh, podcasts. I actually did it today because I do it on Wednesdays, and oh, I did wow. it. Li I do it live on Wednesdays. Wow. I game a lot, so you can find me on Eric Griffin Gaming on Twitch, and I'm also on the Golden Hour podcast with uh, Brendan Schaub and Crystal. Oh, yeah. 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 So that How's was, that going? That's well, going great, too. We have a Patreon. We have a thing. Everything's going great. Good, and also, please, please, please catch Eric Eric doing stand up comedy. Do you have a, a, a oh yeah, that's schedule? right. What am I talking about? Yeah. Yes, I'm going to be. I'm coming to Huntsville 
and Nashville uh, late June. Right. So come check me out there. And I got some more dates I'm going to be putting on my website. I'm coming to uh, Arlington in Texas. I'm coming to wow. the Orlando Improv for one night and then Tampa Side Splitters for that weekend. So I got a lot of dates coming up. So come check me out, ericgriffin.com. Check out my podcast, Griffin with Griffin. Yeah. Check me out gaming and check me out. I'll be you know here another time and we'll bust out the noses. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Eric, what a treat, man. Thank Great you for having me. You. Yeah, man. And uh, if you have a little uh, oh, time. Oh, I shouldn't have put that. I threw it away like you don't need oh, it. That's, oh, that's no, well. you can throw it away. Okay. It's okay. Um, <laughs> if you need a partner tonight collecting those 101 Dalmatians, I'm free tonight. <laughs> uh That's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Until next time, chicken chow mein, baby. And thank you for being here on the Harland Highway with the Griff. See ya. Uh, Give it to me. Sweet dreams. Oh, what's happening? The Griff. (laughs) No, wait. (laughs) The Griff. 